Can hyperbaric therapy promote longevity? Can it actually help reverse aging? Now, recently it's been promoted heavily for longevity and anti-aging. So in this video, I'd like to explore first what we know about the effects of hyperbaric therapy on anti-aging and longevity. Then I will look into how long this anti-aging effects last and whether or not you should do the follow-up protocols and when you should start those protocols. And thirdly, we'll look into age at which you should start incorporating hyperbaric therapy into your wellness routine for longevity benefits. Should you start when you're young? Younger, or should you wait until you get older? And the answer to the question might surprise you. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding what hyperbaric therapy does for longevity and anti-aging and how to incorporate it safely and effectively so there is no more guessing and you can achieve the results that's been shown in the numerous studies. But before we continue, there's something quick I wanted to tell you. I'm getting 30 of you a free access to my five-day HBOT Sprint. It's an event that's happening online, and for the five days, I will send you information on how to use hyperbaric therapy safely and effectively. We will cover areas like how to choose the right hyperbaric chamber, what are the most common mistakes to avoid, and what are the main points in designing a hyperbaric protocol. All this information is applicable to whether you're using hyperbaric therapy for yourself or you plan to offer it to your clients. After those five days, you will have a very clear understanding on where you need to start and what you need to do next. If you're interested, follow the registration link in the video description. Now let's go back to our video. Let's look at what science says about the effect of hyperbaric oxygen therapy on aging and anti-aging. Aging is not just another birthday. Aging is a set of the processes that are happening inside the cell that are aging that cell and the tissue and as a consequence, the whole human body. And one of the hallmarks of aging or seminal hallmarks of aging that I'd like to talk about today are shortening of telomere length. For example, the telomeres are the ending of the chromosomes and the longer they are, the younger is that person. Accumulation of senescent cells is another hallmark of aging. Senescent cells are the cells that stopped dividing and um, they lost their function because of that, but they haven't been cleaned up by the body so they're still sitting there and they're competing for the resources. The more uh, is the accumulation of those senescent cells, the bigger is the number of those cells, the more we're aging. Third hallmark of aging is the increase in chronic inflammation. And the fourth one is the loss of the function of the stem cells. Now, there's been a famous anti-aging study done in 2020 by Dr. Shai Frati and his colleagues that looked at the effects of hyperbaric therapy on those hallmarks of aging. And they found that the specific hyperbaric protocol that I'll mention in just a second resulted in increase of telomere length by 38%, decrease of senescent cells by 35%, massive decrease in chronic inflammation that was backed by inflammatory markers that they measured, an increase in production and mobilization of stem cells. They didn't use just here and there hyperbaric sessions. No, they've used specific hyperbaric protocol. They did 60 hyperbaric sessions that were done five times a week. They used the same pressure all the time to ATA. The sessions were 90 minutes long and they used 100% oxygen with five minute air breaks that were done every 20 minutes to replicate hypoxic hyperoxic paradox that is responsible for all the magnitude of cellular processes that in turn result in improvement of hallmarks of aging. Brian Johnson, famous anti-aging influencer, replicated their protocol. So he also did 60 hyperbaric sessions at 288 of pressure. He did 90 minute sessions and exactly the same design of protocol that Dr. Frati and his colleagues used. And he found, because he did all the testing himself, so he saw also an increase in telomere length by 2.8%. 
he saw his inflammation markers at being down to almost zero. So he had um, inflammation, almost chronic inflammation, almost non-existent in his body. And he also reported improvement in cognitive markers and markers associated with Alzheimer's disease. Several studies looked at stem cell production and mobilization and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. One of the studies found that just one session done at 280 of pressure resulted in doubling of circulating stem cells. So we can clearly see from all these studies and um, a personal experiment done by Brian Johnson that hyperbaric therapy affects the hallmarks of aging. It improves them. Therefore, we can conclude that it does have an effect on longevity and anti-aging. We need to do a lot more studies and look at different markers and see um, to replicate those protocols. But the important takeaway from here is that there was a specific protocol used done at the specific pressure with a specific frequency. And therefore, to conclude that we can get similar benefits at different pressure or different frequency, we actually need to do another scientific study that will show us that. Hypotheric oxygen therapy works by increasing oxidative stress, stimulating mitochondrial function, improving stem cell production and mobilization, decreasing inflammation, and working on different mechanisms within the cell that result in the decrease in um, the hallmarks of aging. So how long do the anti-aging effects of hyperbaric therapy actually last? We don't have a clear answer to that, but we have some hypotheses and let me share those. Yes, we know that we see some gains in terms of anti-aging after about 60 sessions and I'm not going to repeat the protocol. Please refer to the protocol at the beginning of this video. Now, you can track your biomarkers before you start hyperbaric and after you finish hyperbaric protocol and then recheck in about six months after you finish the protocol. You can look at telomere length, you can look at biological aging, you can look at inflammatory markers and even parameters like HRB that show us how well we handle stress. Once you start seeing those markers decline, this is probably timing to redo the protocol. Now, we don't know yet whether or not you need to redo the full protocol, which we normally recommend after about 12 to 18 months, or do short bursts, meaning um, shorter protocols, but done every three to six months. Now, researchers are referring to something that's called maintenance window. It's still a hypothesis, but we think, we suppose, that mitochondrial and stem cell effects start to sort of wane uh, out to decline after about three to six months after you finish the protocol without any further stimulus. That's why we recommend retesting at about six months. So while there's no definite answer on when you need to restart your next protocol, we understand that these effects don't last forever. And keep in mind that biological clock keeps ticking, so we keep aging uh, no matter what. Times go by, you know, there's always another birthday. Thanks God for that. So because we keep aging, those effects won't stay with you forever. It's just a question of when to start another protocol. And one way to assess it is to retest at about six months and to see where you are in terms of your anti-aging or longevity markers. Now, when should you start incorporating hyperbaric oxygen therapy into your wellness routine for anti-aging benefits? Should you start when you're already in your golden years and when you already see decline and um, maybe some symptoms have started to come up? Or should you start earlier when you're still young and you don't see any effects of aging? My opinion is that the younger you start, the better. And I'll explain why all these processes such as decline in stem cell function, chronic inflammation, um, increase in senescent cells and shortening of telomeres these processes, they don't happen overnight. It takes years for those things to actually accumulate and start to show up as symptoms. So when you start earlier, when you improve your cellular health at the earlier age, hypothetically, supposedly, you will arrive to your older age with sort of um, a better baseline. Now, when we look at young athletes and um, young um, biohackers who start to incorporate hyperbaric therapy at a younger age, we 
see the improvements in their health. So Brian Johnson, for example, he started with really good health. He was at his peak health when he started uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, yet he still saw improvements in his health. He saw increase in telomere length. He saw decrease in inflammation, improvement in his cognitive health. So hyperbaric is not a therapy that only helps those who already have decline in their health. It can actually work preventatively. So the earlier you start, the better. Now, if you are a senior, if you are already older, it doesn't mean that it's too late to start hyperbaric therapy. Because when we bring oxygen to the cells in the intermittent pathway, when we use intermittent oxygen delivery, we see improvements in both younger uh, adults and older adults. So no matter what is your age, hyperbaric therapy can be absolutely beneficial and you should see improvements in many areas of life when you start using it correctly and safely. And if you'd like to book a hyperbaric plan that will help you improve your health and sort of explain how to incorporate those regenerative tools like hyperbaric therapy, red light therapy, pulse electromagnetic therapy into your routine, you can click the link in the video description and book a consultation and I'll help you build a longevity plan for years to come. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next week.